Hello and welcome to the ZOC. I'm your host Andrew Carvin. This is mostly unscripted and unedited. Today I'll be talking to you about the Boogie Board 8.5 inch LCD writing tablet. Uh, the one featured here is the black one, uh, which I purchased uh, for myself back on August 1st of 2013. I purchased, my, purchased myself a black one. I purchased my wife a pink one. I purchased my dad Min a blue one, and I also got one for my mom and Craig, and I think that's the, all the ones I bought. Well anyway, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the concept of an Etch-a-Sketch, uh, then a boogie board uh, will be a fairly familiar concept. It's essentially a erasable noteboard. Uh, that's electronic. Uh, you uh, you draw on it, you write on it, and then you push a button uh, to make all the stuff you just did go away. So you can use it over and over and over again. In fact, uh, I think it's rated for like 50,000 erases or something like that. It has a really long lifespan, in other words. I've been using mine ever since I got it back in 2013, and I've had no issues with it, and I found it quite useful. Uh, prior to getting the boogie, boogie board, I used to write notes on pieces of paper. And while that is, can be convenient at times, uh, I don't like dealing with pieces of paper. Uh, it's so much easier uh, to just have a tablet, a simple tablet that I can jot things down on really quickly and put it on my desk for later review, uh, later get to whatever it is I wrote down on it. Uh, so while I do have a lot of electronics I can write on, including this computer, and of course put sticky notes on the desktop on the computer, it's just so much more convenient to have a boogie board around uh, for me to jot stuff down when I think of it, uh, as opposed to having to get to an app or something. So anyway, uh, this is the one I got for myself. Uh, the black one, uh, but they do come in a wide variety of colors and designs. Uh, supply and demand, of course. Uh, the ones uh, that are not as in demand will of course be the cheaper ones. When I bought the boogie boards they were about uh, $20 a piece and uh, they vary in price uh, depending on how much people want them, <laughs> with the black one being uh, the least wanted, I guess. Uh, I like black myself. It matches uh, my s stuff. So, <laughs> suits me just fine. But you can get black, you can get blue. Uh, that's the color that I got my dad Min. You can get a neon green. You can get neon green with a soccer ball on it. Um, this one, the camouflage one, apparently is in very high demand. Uh, because it's, it's, well, look at it. Okay, it's not even available, but, I mean, from 30 third-party sellers, it's like $84.95, so uh, apparently there's a really high demand for camouflage boogie boards. Here's a pink one. This is the pink one that I got my wife. Um, this is another pink one with flowers on it. And this is a orange reddish one, and you can find accessories for them. Like there's boogie board cases you can get for it and carry around like that. I don't have a case for mine because uh, it's not that important for me. Uh, they do have a more complex one, like. John E. Writer, so this must be the the newer one, possibly. Uh, huh. Well, anyway, back to the one we're talking about. Um, so this is the one I got, and they're still on sale. Um, very easy to use, very simple to use. It's uh, you write on it, then you push a button. Uh, the button being right up top, that circular thing in the middle. You push that to erase the screen. Here's some more pictures. In fact, let's go through the pictures. 
So there's that one. Some basketball plays, I guess that is. Marketing junk. Does come with a stylus that you can use. Of course, you don't have to use a stylus. You can use your finger or any other object. You know, just make sure the object isn't like sharp, sharp, so it doesn't cut into the surface. It is a touch sensitive surface, but you don't want to actually damage it, of course. There's another thing. Another thing, a note. Another thing. Another thing. Yep, variety of colors. Uh, white, neon green, neon pink, neon blue, orange red, and the black one. Of course, they had various other designs and stuff. Uh, they also have a video, which I'm muting because music. It does come with magnets, so you can put magnets on the back, put it on the fridge. has a clip up top, which you can slide over the button so you don't accidentally erase things. So you just pushed it to erase. That's one of, you have to buy those cases separately, but you don't really need one. Uh, the clip holds the stylus, so you just click it on top. See, notes, that's predominantly what I use mine for. Yep, draw on it, whatever you want to do with it. It's electronic paper. Now, whatever you draw on this, you of course, it's on the tablet thing. Uh, there's no way to transfer it from that to your computer. Uh, but you can scan things in if you want to. Uh, I've never found a need for that myself because, again, mostly what I do is if I get an idea for something, I then translate that from the reminder that is my boogie board into whatever it is I'm wanting to do. So, erase your image with the touch of a button and a friendly flash from the liquid crystal display. Cool! Sealed 3 volt watch battery never needs replacing. The boogie board tablet is an ultra uh, one, ha one eighth inch thin. It's easy to take with you in a purse, scheduler, briefcase, or backpack. Um, I don't. It sits on my desk. I write on it whenever I need to. The case and LCD are made from durable plastic materials. Yes. Uh, safe for school use and all around the house, office and car. Uh, the boogie board's tablet's pressure sensitive LCD writing surface creates lines of different thickness based on how hard you push. Yes. Uh, just like paper and pen write or draw with the included stainless steel stylus or any other suitable instrument, even your finger. Just, you know, make, again, this is pressure sensitive. Make sure whatever you're using does not actually damage the boogie board. Like, you know, you don't want to use a pen or a pencil. Maybe the eraser on a pencil would work, but not the actual pointy part. Uh, you'll never need to search for a pen or pencil again. Exactly. Uh, what's in the box? The boogie board. 8.5 tablet, of course. Uh, stylus and magnet set, of course. Uh, cleaning cloth. Uh, it does come with one. I've never used it. I just wipe it off of my shirt. <laughs> and that seems to work just fine. And a user guide. Uh, but seriously, why do you need that? I mean... Uh, it's pretty simple. You write on it, and then after you're done with whatever you wrote on it, then you just push the button up top, and bam! You are you have a new writing service to write on all over again. And, uh... Oh, okay. Um, this kid... This will, uh... Give you some more pictures. Okay, mine came with the magnet and what have you kit. Uh, so I can use these pictures to kind of show you what they look like. Okay. 
and magnets. I've never had a need to stick this on a fridge, so I didn't use them. Um, I do use that clip though, because it makes it so much easier to keep track of the stylus. Um, again, yeah, sure, it comes with a ShamWow cl cloth cleany thing, but I mean, uh, I've never needed it really. Uh, I don't know how it would perform under circumstances where there might be moisture and stuff. Um, do that at your own discretion, I guess. But I mean, it is a it is a sealed unit, so I mean, there's no battery compartments to open or anything like that. In fact, the only way to get at the battery would be to essentially break it. <laughs> so uh, it is, yeah, yeah, sealed. Three volt watch battery provides over fifty thousand race cycles. So if you use it like once a day every day uh, you might wear out the battery what ten years from now uh, if you feel like doing the calculations please do so and leave it in the comments below but it's a really long time okay I don't use my boogie board every day uh, but I use it often enough to find it to be uh, very useful to have it so I'm very happy with it and yeah that's pretty much it I know in some of the images that it displayed that it had like an extendable stylus I don't have the extendable stylus I just have a solid one uh, I'm not sure if that's a new thing or not but it doesn't really make a difference in terms of operation and it's just a really great thing to have so if you like writing notes for yourself or other people in your household and you want to stop killing trees uh, this is, would be a great way of doing so and uh, like I said I've had it since August 1st of 2013 and have been very happy with it but don't take my word for it uh, let me show you how it works so here is my boogie board I'm trying to keep it properly aligned underneath the camera by 90 degreeing it on this table here. But uh, this is the boogie board that I've had since uh, 2013. I've been very happy with it. As you can see, uh, there is a clip up here with the stylus. And right underneath the clip is the erase button. Uh, so very easy to use. I'm gonna pause occasionally to make sure I'm still lined up. Yep, still lined up. So again, it's really easy to use. Just yeah. smiley face. Give it a tongue. Blah. Ugh. Drool. Drool. Arg. Give it a hat. A little streamer. Little butt. Right over there. Maybe give it an eyeball. Ah. Make it say something. Eat pizza. And if I'm not, if I don't want to have that picture anymore, I just push this button up here and bang, gone. I can do something else. I can do. Uh, let's draw a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of droopy fish. Give a fin. Fin up here. I am expert artist. Yes. Put some waves up here. I'm in a boat. Okay. We'll sail. Sun comes out on my boogie board. On my boogie board. Yes, it does. Some crap down here. Maybe a shipwreck. The dead ship stuck down there. In the treasure chest. Yeah. And 
in a gym's stuff and seaweeds. Because <laughs> I'm expert artist. Maybe a shark coming in and he's like, Rawr, ah, is, uh, I eat you all. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Because he's really hungry. Oh, yes. Okay. Done with that. Uh, maybe I want to do some notes. So, do the thing with the thing. I can do it in cursive. So, if you remember how to do cursive. Do the the eh, eh, do the thing with the thing. Make a smiley face, cause that means something, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Give it a little. Cleany clean. All right. We can play <laughs> tic tac toe. Ha <laughs> ha! I won. Woo! I am winner. Or maybe. Maybe uh, I'm into role-playing games, so I can put int 10 uh, muscles, mus muscles, yeah, muscles, 15, the beauty, yeah, beauty, whatever, uh, 18, I'm like extra gorgeous. Here's my character, he's that doop doop, doop doop, then give him a sword. So he's a beautiful person with a sword. Maybe a, maybe a puppy. Alright, boop boop, Whee! There we go. So you kind of get the idea, I mean, it's it's essentially electronic paper. Uh, whatever you want to write on it, you can write on it, um, draw on it, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's just really convenient to have something like this because then you can take notes on it, and when you're done with the actual note, instead of wasting paper constantly like I used to, uh, you just throw it away. Like... Um, Update website with new intro. So that'd be like a note that I would give myself and dash it. And let's say I wanted to do the new intro in. I uh, can't think of a place right. Well, let's say the uh, Squee Theater. How about that? Yeah, we can do that. And then I could put like uh, a note for consideration was like buy new. SL house uh, question mark as you can see it does change depending on how you use the stylus like this is a very fine line and 
if I use the side of it, like I'm doing right here, you end up with thick ones. I kind I tend to use a lot of pressure when I'm um, writing with anything, so that's kind of why it's so thick. But you know, get done with that, or you know, stick this to the refrigerator and be like, don't for get to feed dogs or something like that or if you had like a shopping list you'd be like milk eggs bread Andy, hot dogs, uh, hamburger, um, cereal, I actually went shopping today. I use my phone for shopping, but I mean, this is something else you'd use your boogie board for. Uh, let's say we need salt, which I totally forgot to pick up. Um, bees. What else? Uh, let's say we we get. Um, do I already have cereal? Yeah, it's up there. Let's say potatoes. When you go through, when you go shopping, you'd be like, I got that, 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 that. Hey, yay, done. We are done shopping. Woo! 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 And then you just that then you're ready to go and put down another list and so on and so forth um, so I mean it's a pretty simple concept really sim really easy to use uh, if you know of anyone who uh, likes to take notes of any kind um, for anything this is like you using up a lot of pieces of paper and whatnot this would be a perfect gift for them uh, because it would allow them to well uh, still take notes, but not use up tons and tons of paper. So, there you have it. So, notes, lists, uh, fun, I mean, you can draw on it, you can play games on it. Not like Super Nintendo games or anything like that, but I mean, you like anything you can draw on it kind of games. Um, it's been a while since I've been in any kind of really active in... Uh, the role-playing game scene, but I mean, this could obviously have a special uses in that uh, arena. Uh, so, I mean, just all kinds of stuff you could do with it. Anything that you could write down, anything that is that you write down that's temporary, that you don't really need to keep for an extended period of time, uh, would be perfect for using a boogie board. And uh, I've actually, you know, but despite all the electronics I have, and I do have quite a few because I'm very much electronics friendly, um, I still get a lot of use out of this very simple device. Um, ever since I got it back in, in 2013, I've really loved having it because uh, I don't necessarily use it every day, but I do use it. I do use it quite a bit to put down notes. Uh, to for things that I do, you know the work that I do on my YouTube channel in Second Life, on my website. Um, sometimes I write down stuff that I'm supposed to do around the house, so on and so forth. And when I'm done with the list, I just go beep, done. So uh, this is the boogie. 
board. board. It is a very good product. I fully recommend getting one, or at least something similar to it, because it is awesome. And uh, I'm pretty sure that um, if you like to write things down, you'd probably get a lot of use out of it too. Um, it's uh, been a great purchase ever since I got mine. And uh, I was more than happy uh, to get this for uh, not just myself, uh, but for my wife, uh, for my mom and stepdad, and my dad and stepmom. Uh, because it's just a great thing to have around the home uh, for anything you happen to want to write down and not keep permanently. So there you have it. The boogie board. You can get this on Amazon uh, very inexpensively and uh, it'll make a great uh, gift for yourself or a gift for uh, others. But anyway, this has been the ZOC, um, and I'll see you on the next video. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.